Hey, yo, what's the good? It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Livecast Season 4. We on YouTube, baby. For those of you new to the page, welcome to the hottest to-do list show. Hold on. On the internet. If it's not, your job is to let me know who got it so that I can like, comment, share, and subscribe to their page the same way I ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my page. And of course, as soon as I start the show, this one want to act up. You better go right back in your spot for today. Anyways, now, I apologize for being a day late, but if you've been rocking with us for the last um, couple of weeks, and you know that this is a this is a good problem. All right, we catching right back up. So, today represents um, episode 121. That's a lot, but. We're only one third of the way through because we got to get to 364. So we got work to do. But this represents March 15th. And because I'm a day late, for those of you who are um, day one super porters, when I'm late, we're going to jump straight into the income talk. And when I'm on time, we get to go through the entire list. All right. So today is Tuesday which represent, or this episode represents Tuesday, and Tuesday corresponds to the second form of income. So watch my prior episode to review income one, earned income. And the thing I want to remind you about earned income is the 25% rule, the 65, 25, 10, but 25% of your money um, is for your bills, which means your bills are already paid. That is a great segue into income number two. So income number two is profit income or business income. I, how, what's the difference? Um, let me just address the elephant in the room. You're in business to make a profit. All right. But the reason why I separate them at least is because if you're working for yourself, I consider that a profit income. If you are working, I said that wrong. If you're working for yourself, that is a business income. And if you're working for somebody else, that's a profit income. All right? That's the only difference. Either you're working for someone else or you're working for yourself. But in both scenarios, your bill should already be paid. So that's the key. That means if you make only $1 but your bills are paid, you can now do whatever you so desire. I was going to say wants, but we already got 10% wants. So now it's you can really just do whatever. As you become more financially literate, you're going to lean towards using that money to make other either investments or risks that could potentially get you to the next level. But the key is to make sure that your earned income is doing what it needs to do. Watch the prior episode. But then also that you are you kind of have an idea of what you want to do. And as we go through the rest of this week, hopefully you'll start to have an idea for you, your family, and your lifestyle, what you want to do. And again, you can talk to me in the comments if you want me to address you directly. But before I do that, this is not financial advice. This is entertainment purposes only. I right? And I'm your number one entertainer, me, Super Kev. Okay, what we got next? So, you can have whatever job you got to have for your first job. Now, if your bills are paid, we really don't care or mind what your profit income is. So, uh, a real example is when I used to be a math teacher, making about maybe more, maybe less, six figures, and then after school, I go bartend for a little bit over minimum wage. And the reason why I can afford it was because my bills was already paid. Does that make any sense? Talk to me in the comments. So I don't want y'all to be so bougie and you're like, oh, I ain't never going to work for that little amount. Because if your bills are paid, the potential of what that amount can become becomes worth exchanging that time for money. And the last thing I'll say before I get into my income tool specifically, R is R, what a, I majored in math, y'all, is, um, see, I, I lost my train since I couldn't speak English properly. So when that comes back, we'll get to it. 
And now what I got written down so I don't forget are my various income tools. So I'm going to go through my list. Anything with a two over seven is what I'm going to acknowledge right now. But I did drop the entire list in the description box. So if, if there is anything you want me to elaborate on, write it to me in the comments. I'll be sure to check the email. The page is not so big yet. And because of that, I'm able to respond to everything. So feel free to drop the um, questions in there. But like I said, if I'm a day late, we got to keep it pushing. Give me one moment. All right, here we go. So income, two out of seven day, or as we famously say, income number Tuesday. First thing is document receipts. Now, one thing I'm probably going to change next year is how I buy food. Because when I go to some of my side jobs where I'm barely getting any sleep, I'm traveling far, and I decide to buy something to eat, I'm going to start pulling that money from the investments part of that side hustle. But that will be for 2023 because I'm going to finish to see how I started it the same way we decided together. But me thinking about like me actually going through it these days as the weather gets better and uh, people are not so, you know what I'm saying, concerned about that. So we're going to adjust next year. But in the meantime, whatever I buy, if it come with a receipt, we are snapping a picture on Fetch Rewards and we're leaving with the points. And all I know is that word on the streets, you can get an Amazon gift card. So I'm gonna continue snapping away until that looks eligible until I'm eligible for one. All right. Another side hustle. Again, all of this money is good money because my bills are theoretically paid. Next up. Check income two out of sevens. Um, Google Docs and ideas. If you was watching my last episode, you know me and Google Docs, we are one in the same. So I, I'm always on my Google Docs, all right, that to keep me organized. So we, I hate when the thing we doing that. So we check the Google Docs, and if you have more than one side hustle, I highly recommend. This is not financial advice, but I recommend that you have more than one Google Doc. If you can't handle multiple Google Docs, then I highly recommend you make one master document. There you go. That's simple. It's all about what you're willing to handle. Me, because some of my side hustles are in different, what we'll call sectors for this lack of a better term, I keep mine separate so that when tax purposes come and they ask me how much I made there versus how much I made there, I got them separate. But don't let that fool you. It's very possible to have one master document. And then you can even put on the like the last column, um, bartending, math tutoring, audio engineering. What other side hustles I got? Selling toys. And then at the end, you can just click a button and then organize it by that. So again, elaborate if I did that too quick, but I got to keep it pushing. Plus, I got to get out of here in about 10 minutes. And speaking about engineering music, that's one of my side hustles. And what I would like to do, which I didn't do, but I might do it when I come back today if I'm not too tired from walking, and that is Engineer Music Tuesday on IG. So I got a song, my own song, that I want to put out. So I'm figuring I could remaster it in front of you guys and then put it out, see where it goes, and then boom, that's another Income 7. But the fact that I got to sit in front of the computer, use my ears, exchange my time for that future money is why I'm considering it an income number two. Chase bread overnight, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, nobody's trying to get sued. Document the hours and allocate the funds. Anytime I do anything, I document hours. E-Rewards is a survey app in which you take a survey and they give you some bread. I would recommend you take the surveys while you're waiting for the bus or if you're on a long train ride, anything in which you're not the driver. Hey, don't drive and read surveys. I, no. But if you're not the driver, go for it. What we got next? 
my Fetch Rewards at the time of writing these notes is 8,896. Is that a lot? I don't know. Is that a little? I don't know. But that's the update. What's good, Texas? Another side hustle that I got is GetUpside. GetUpside is a cashback reward program. If you use a debit or credit card at participating gas stations, convenience stores, or restaurants, I stay at the gas station. So I stay with the GetUpside money. Now, on the last Monday of the month, I'm going to transfer the money to my PayPal. On the last Tuesday of the month, I will invest in, I don't know which one I'm investing in, Bitcoin Cash. There it is. Good thing I remember that because I would have embarrassed myself. But we're going to invest in that on PayPal. Just, again, to be transparent and show y'all, hey, I have a goal. This is what it is, and this is what I'm going to do with it. I have a goal. This is what it is. This is what I'm going to do with it. All right. Anyways, so my get upside for this month, for the month of March 2022, is at $12.15 at the time of writing this treatment. And if it's over 10, you can transfer it without a penalty. So off the rip, I'm over the penalty threshold. We coming for for that PayPal. But we're only going to do it on the first Tuesday of the month to be consistent with dollar cost averaging. It's not financial advice, um, entertainment purposes only. And while I'm already there, I update the gas prices on ways. I just snuck that in there. Next, y'all know I'm a bartender. So... It be me who be leaving with them empty bottles. On the last Tuesday of this month, which will be Tuesday, March 29th, I will return those cans, drop 90% of the money in my son's um, savings account, 10% will be going into my account. Now, obviously, four bottles is not a lot, but I got a few events that can run up the tally. And again, five cents for some bottles after... Um, allegedly getting paid and after supposedly getting a tip, I'll take it. That's that financial literacy I'm trying to put the black community onto at least. Um, post a bottle return story on the snap. So I always try to post on the snap whenever I'm either getting money or being healthy or anything inspirational. I try to just post on the snap. Update the bottle return sheet document. So when I sell the cans, I have a document in which I write down how many cans I sold so that um, I can make estimates as to what, how many bottles I should run into later or whatever. And when I say bottles, I'm talking about soda bottles in which you can get a five cent refund. That's what I'm talking about. Income of the day links will be in the comment section below. I always drop my um, relevant links because y'all know I do seven different episodes. One for each day of the week, and they correspond to different forms of income. So if you see um, any episode in which I got my hair split in two, then just know it's Tuesday, get it? Two, And there's two people watching. All right, I guess that was corny because nobody's laughing. It was so corny, someone left. All right, no more income number Tuesday jokes. I'll stick to just talking money and math. All right, and then the income of the day will be in the links or in the comment section, link below, whatever. And then last, actually not last, um, I'm going to give you one more. But our main topic, let me do that next. The main topic is to is for income two out of seven to be explained for the third time. And so because I'm, you know, I, I repeat the same things every week, essentially. I thought about how I could get creative in this conversation today. Y'all know I'll be thinking about y'all. Mm-hmm. And what I figured was to bridge, to excuse me, have a discussion bridging profit income and business income. So this is creative. That doesn't mean this is how your life is going to play out or whatever, whatever. But one thing that can happen is you can work a side job. All right. Everybody knows about that, whatever, whatever. And while working the side job, you can be moving up the corporate ladder within that job. So I know I had mentioned this in my last episode. I was talking about income one. Now I'm bringing the same idea into income two. 
because incomes one and two are essentially the same, except they had one is first and two is second. That's it. But both of them, you have to exchange your time for money. All right. So let's see. Um, moving up the ladder would be, I just, I'll use McDonald's as an example. Let's say your profit income is you are an employee at McDonald's. And you always make sure my french fries is hot. So I, I, I rock with you. And then you move up the ladder. So you go from being the worker to the shift supervisor or whatever the name of that position is called. Then you go from the supervisor to the re- regional supervisor. All, every time you move up the ladder, it should come with more money, right? Wait, yeah. Right? One day I'm going to get a response. And so if you're moving up the ladder at your side job while your bills are already paid from your first job, I'll take it. And you could even potentially move high enough to where you can own or man, I don't know exactly how it works. It's not financial advice, but I believe you can own McDonald's, like certain McDonald's. What better way to do it than to start from the ground and build your wealth and then go see them? All right, just a thought. And the last thing I'm going to ask, because there's one person watching, I'm going to get out of here any minute now. And that is, if you want to call in and ask the Kev anything, yeah, you. I believe you could own, like, not own the whole franchise, but you could own, like, the franchise of that region or of that block. Like, they let you do something like that, whatever. The whole point is, if you go from a low-end worker, low-end as far as the pay is concerned, not as far as respect, just the pay, but you know you have aspirations to get to the next level, if this is your side job, that's lit. Like, you got a good-paying job, or you, good paying just means your bills are paid straight up. You got a good-paying first job, and now you're moving up the ladder at your side job? Straight up, I'll tell you straight up. Two of my side hustles allegedly supposedly want me to move up in the positions. And I and I ask, does it require more time? If the answer is yes, I don't want it. Because I'm already tied up with the things I got to do. I can't even complete them. So I'm not going for every last penny the way everyone else or the way others might. But if you are going for every penny, then uh, duh, go get your money. <laughs> go get paid, dog. Okay. so. The last thing is, is I'm going to set a one minute timer. If you want to call in and talk to the Kev, make sure you turn your phone sideways, all right? And if you ever do call, I was supposed to say this. If any of y'all ever actually call in, you got to be respectful and follow the guidelines of social media, all right? I don't make the rules. I just follow them. But here's a minute. It is, it's backwards, but y'all know. Whatever, I'll let you know when there's 10 seconds. Also, shout out my young boy. My younger man said one time he didn't want to call in, but he's, he typed a question. And so for that, I'm very appreciative. So if you don't feel comfortable calling, you could just type something in. And then in the meantime, let's look at the Kevin in the back with his late episode where he wore the same thing seven days in a row. Same hoodie, by the way. Oh, that was a 14. My fault. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Okay. So. On that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm alive, there will be a live. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the support. Hey, don't tell me that. I I showed you. I posted it. But um, but it's cool, though, because you be showing love in the comments. So you already know you, you're a regular. You don't, you know, you're always a part of the fam. So it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm alive, there will be a live. And I'm about to head out of here, go chase some more income number two money. When I come back, I do owe y'all episode 
um, 122, I think, because I finally have caught up after about a week and a half. So I'm feeling good. Might show up live. But if I forget or if I prioritize other things, then that means the next episode will be quicker than usual. All right. But anyways, you already know what it is. I can't wait to see y'all again soon. But I got to chase this money and pay some bills. I love y'all. Peace, more.